Hi, it's Miss Denise with an Earth Day craft. Um, today we are going to make Earth Day craft with some supplies that you're going to have at home. We have a coffee filter and some markers and a spray bottle or water. I have a little spray bottle with water in it here. Um, if you don't have a spray bottle with water, that's fine. You can just splash water on with your hands. And I have something um, to protect my tabletop here. I just have a file folder. So let's get started. For Earth Day, we're going to make Mother Earth. Here's a sample of what I've created already. And we know that the Earth is mostly made up of water. And we know what color water is. Blue and land, which is going to be green. So you're gonna want blue and green markers. I didn't have any thick ones, I have thin ones. Whatever you have is fine. Um, we're gonna start with our coffee filter, just one. And we're gonna place it down either side, it doesn't matter. We're gonna place it down on our surface and we're going to color it. You can use multi-colors Again, I'm going to stay with the blue and the green um, for Earth Day. And we're just going to want to color the coffee filter all the way to the end. So I'm just going to start in the middle and kind of go out and go back and forth. And I want to get as much color on as possible. So this is a lighter blue. And it's not really covering quite as well. Let me see what other kinds I have. Uh, here's a darker blue. Here's a darker blue. Let's see if this one's any better. We can go right over this one. Oh, wow, that's great. That is a lot more color. We're going to go all the way to the end. Just back and forth. It doesn't matter what direction you go in, even if you go in one direction and then change your mind and go in another direction. Here, let me show you, let me do some green. Here's some dark green. We'll put it right next to the blue. If I go the other way, when we spray it, it's not really gonna matter. And then you wanna make sure to go all the way to the edge. And if your colors overlap, that's okay. This is supposed to be a fun craft. Hopefully these supplies you have in your house, you have some markers and you have some coffee filters. Let's see, here's another blue. It's kind of like an aqua. So do you think your earth that you're making with the coffee filter should be more green or more blue. I would love to hear what you guys think. More green or more blue. Well, let's try this green. We're just finishing up. Only takes a few minutes to color. You want to get as much color on as possible. Okay. And last one. And again, it doesn't matter what direction you go in. Whatever you like. 
So my coffee filter is done. There's what it looks like. And I'm gonna take uh, my spray bottle. I have a little spray bottle. If you have one um, in your house, you can use that. If not, if you just have a water bottle, you can always ask your parents to just poke a couple holes and you can shake it on or you can pour some in your hand and kind of sprinkle it on like this. That also works. But I'm gonna use my spray bottle and give it a couple squirts. We wanna make sure we get the whole thing wet. And you can kind of start to see the colors kind of run together. I'll let it sit for a minute. And all your colors are gonna run together. Here's one that I did earlier. Let me put this one back up here. You can kind of see how it changes. Here's one that I did just a few minutes earlier. And it's almost dry. Isn't that very cool? And you can hang these up on the fridge for Earth Day. Make sure you get outside today in your backyard and look around at the sky, see what color it is, be outside in nature for a little bit, go for a short walk. I'm gonna come back really soon with a story, so stay tuned, and I hope you like this Earth Day craft.